with the MDG collections on hand today ladies and gentlemen let's talk about credit karma and you know first off I just want to say I used credit karma years ago when I was new into the credit game and I was not fully educated on how credit works and it was just one of the first things one of the first tools that I found either online I'm not really sure how I found it or if it was brought to my attention by you know something I was watching on on the internet I, I can't really remember how I started to use credit karma but credit karma is a site that 98% of people use to monitor their credit and it is a free service that allows you to pretty much monitor your credit and you can only usually see uh, your TransUnion and your Equifax credit scores and they are not your FICO scores they are uh, as closely as credit credit karma can get to your Vantage score so you know I did a video and I'll put that up uh, right here or right here wherever it's gonna pop up that video was your FICO score versus your Vantage score and what's the difference and what to look for when you are when you have one of those scores and you think you know it's something and when you're going out to make a purchase or apply for something so you can know the difference so check that video out but in this particular video about Credit Karma what they are trying to do is get as closely you know to, to being accurate to your Vantage score so it's not even your FICO score that Credit Karma is using what they are using is closely to your Vantage score and technically it is not even really your real Vantage score it's like you know it's just not accurate you know it's just you know Credit Karma what I found over time as I got more educated in the credit game is they are not accurate at all and which is one of the main reasons why I backed out and stopped using them you know you know it really it really upset me when I thought my credit score was a certain score with Credit Karma you know I went out and you know tried to apply for something and it was not it was nowhere near that score Credit Karma was showing me a little did I know once I got smart enough to use my FICO uh, went to myfico.com I'll put it up on the screen it'll be in the description portion of this video uh, the video that I did how to increase your credit this trick is amazing in that video the app that I'm using on my phone is from myfico.com you gotta go on the computer first you apply for their services uh, you pay the money per month if I'm not mistaken it's 24 25 dollars per month or something like that I'm not really sure I had that account with my FICO for about two years over two years and when I learned where my credit was and I knew exactly where about it was I did not need my FICO anymore so I just canceled my account because I did not want that money coming out every single month when I wasn't going to really use them like that you know and then at this point my credit is already at a point where I can kind of monitor it and I know exactly where it is just from using the the free services that I get with Experian so back to what we're talking about with Credit Karma now they are a good company as far as allowing you to see which habits are good and which habits are bad as far as on how you should use let's just say a credit card to improve your credit or what things are more important like what things have a bigger impact on your credit versus uh, things that don't have such a great impact and I also did a video on understanding your credit which you guys should check out to understand which percentages from the top to the least really affect your credit in the ways that uh, we want them to be affected so in other words uh, the things that you can do really great to affect your credit and things that you don't want to do to affect your credit I talk about in that video now in this video Credit Karma is something that I would never use again I mean they are just not accurate enough as far as giving your scores their scoring module could be anywhere from 30 to 60 to maybe even 90 points off from what your real credit scores really are so you just got to be mindful that you know they're not going to be extremely accurate I mean as far as you know giving you your true score that's just the bottom line I mean they don't have enough insight and enough intel you know it's not like you know Vantage from TransUnion or Vantage from Equifax is giving them the, the real insights on what the scores really are Credit Karma is just getting small bits and pieces of your information that they can kind of come up with a score with and base it on uh, the small information that they have on you however they get that information they're not deeply in so they can find out everything to a T that you have uh, on your credit score uh, they may have have a service now I'm not sure where you can give them your social security number and they can get a more accurate finding on your credit scores but even then I would not want to just give my social security number to Credit Karma and allow them to you know come up with a number that's so close when I can deal with a more 
you know, reputable company like MyFICO, which is basically what you really want, you know, because most lenders are using FICO and not your Vantage score, which would be what Credit Karma would be using. So uh, this video is just to explain to people that I've had in the comment section that bring up Credit Karma in the comment section about you know, any videos that I do involving credit. And, you know, I just wanted to get this video out there to let you know Credit Karma is good as far as teaching you good habits and bad habits. They have a little setup within their account where they show you or talk to you about, you know, the things that impact your credit and what not to do and things how you can improve your credit but as far as the scoring module it is not accurate you know it, it won't be as accurate as what you really think your score is you may see your your score is 695 and you know you go somewhere to apply for something and it's well off it's 625 or 630 635 you just never know but just to bring awareness to people that is what you have to remember with credit karma it is not 100 percent accurate it is hugely off from what your scores really are just something for you guys to know people that may not have known this that are young in the credit game and you know you see credit karma as a free service and you see your scores up there and you think your scores are really up there well technically they're really not try my fico and find out what your scores really are and that is going to do it for this upload give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and until next time ladies and gentlemen that's gonna be a wrap <laughs>